Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. to say, that is the only logical course of action. Uh, excuse me, are you even listening? Uh, yeah, I totally am. You're gonna save this prince who's being held captive by some evil cult of sorcerers in order to restore House Nouvelle? Uh, that is not even remotely close to what I said. Where has your mind been this whole time? Creating new magic, charting unknown sorcery waters. Therein lies the means to make my dream a reality. To that end, I have decided that you will make a most fitting test subject for my research. <laughs> no thanks. What reason could you possibly have to refuse? Do you not want the honor of helping House Nouvelle regain its former glory? I don't mind lending a hand, but I'm not so keen on being a test subject. You don't even know what'll happen. Wouldn't it make sense to experiment on yourself first? Huh. A rather astute deduction for one such as yourself. However, there is one critical flaw in your reasoning. Were I to do as you propose, I would be unable to properly observe the results with my own eyes. <laughs> Well then, you'll just have to be patient until someone volunteers. We'd have a big problem on our hands if something happened to me before the next battle, right? Actually, that probably goes for everyone. I suppose you are correct. But then, my research has reached an impasse! Hmm, I guess so. Okay, how about this? Since we're at war, why not try and distinguish yourself in battle? You could still conduct your research at the same time. Combat's more my wheelhouse anyway. In fact, we could even start right now with some training. What do you say? Uh, I respectfully decline. While I am not entirely opposed to the idea of military prestige, I am unable to accompany you at this time. Training at night will surely suffice. At night? But you won't have enough time if you don't train during the day. You're not planning on pulling all-nighters, are you? Oh, please! I am not that foolish! I simply do not wish to train at this very moment. Are you sure? I'm not trying to force you, but there's no time like the present. This is your dream we're talking about, after all. Are you just gonna give up on it? I appreciate the encouragement, but there are extenuating circumstances at play. Nevertheless, I shall succeed in all my endeavors, be they magical or military, and I shall do it all in my own way. <laughs> what to do?
Actually, I'd prefer a nap. Do you mind if I curl up somewhere when we arrive at our destination? I sleep, you carry me. Sound good? This is certainly a peaceful place, and there is plenty of fluffy grass for me to flop onto. I thought for certain you would have a crest, but no. I still find that so strange. Let's see. I enjoy our time together. What about you? Excellent. What worries me most is that I might have to follow in my father's footsteps and take up politics. <sighs> that was more excitement than I'm used to. But I did have fun. Let's do it again. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. I will see it done speedily. Let's get it done. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. I know this is for Her Majesty, but I wouldn't mind if it turned into a chance to outshine you. Well, what better way to get results than a little healthy competition? I am amazed we managed to get along well enough for our work to pass muster. Indeed. I wouldn't be able to face Her Majesty with pride in my chest if we botched this task. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. I hope to prove at least as useful to you as a pile of discarded rubbish. You have not to worry about with me on the job. We all must do our fair share. Going to doze off. I just know it. Send a flower to battle and watch it bloom. For the future that's yet to come. This war is ours to be won. I'm motivated. 
to sleep, that is. We will Once save them. Done. I know it. Hope for the best, but Sorry. prepare for the worst. Can you advance? There's not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to Leave this one to me. That's my cue. I will gladly handle this. Orders re- I beg your assistance at once. We can ill afford defeat here. We won't last at this rate. We need assistance. Oh, if I must. If my assistance is needed, oh, if I must. I am your man. Get your kindness. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Beg your assistance at once. Though I am reluctant to do this, I can see no other choice. Question of can. Leave this to me. Leave the that's my cue. I will gladly handle this. I'll take over. I have this. Perfect execution, wouldn't you say? That was for two. Yeah, right. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. No distraction. 
Let's call this a success. For a taste of Blade Breaker style? I'll defeat every last one of you. I will gladly handle this. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. So this is defeat. I'm sorry. There's not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to- There's not a question of can. Leave- Here goes! Anything for Lady Edelgard. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. Leave this one to me. I will gladly handle this. was a success. I'm 
getting better, but at what cost? Well, would you look at that? There must be more to this. Oh, look at that. I'll surely put this to good use. your thoughts. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. I may be of further service. Oh, there you are, Hubert. I have been searching everywhere for you. And to what end? Has Her Majesty summoned me? Oh, she would never use me for a task like that. I just wanted to thank you, albeit reluctantly. I do not recall having done anything that would merit such a sincere display of gratitude. Well, you probably just saw it as part of your normal administrative duties. You fixed quite a big mistake in my last report before Her Majesty had the chance to look at it. 
I woke up in a panic when I realized what I had done. Imagine how mortified I was to see you'd already corrected everything. Ah, yes. I may have done something of the sort. As Her Majesty's loyal servant, it is my duty to pare down the number of unnecessary matters which wander across her desk. I must say, I was surprised to see you make such a foolish and obvious error. Have you truly grown so lax, even as you style yourself the greatest of our Emperor's retainers? I'm aware of the mistake I made, but I would never dream of calling myself something like that. Well, perhaps I said it once or twice in the heat of the moment, but I never actually meant it. If anyone is Her Majesty's best retainer, it's you. And without House Vestra's say-so, I could never become one of her servants. <sighs> At present, I very much doubt you are fit to serve as Her Majesty's servant. Excuse me? It is true that I did not make a conscious choice to serve Her Majesty at first. Instead, I simply did it because my father decreed it must be so. But such bounds no longer define our relationship. I do not serve the Emperor. My loyalty is to Lady Edelgard and her alone. I stand with her in a manner that goes beyond the bounds of ruler and servant. Do you understand this? I want to be like that with Her Majesty as well. But I am only the child of a baron, so I don't have excuses to linger in the palace all the time. I have to return to my family's estate once I've fulfilled my duties for the day, and I get summoned back to our territory often. I am not like you. I cannot just be at her side unless I have a good reason to be there. Indeed. Ox territory is in the far west of the Empire. I surmise you have had to spend much of your time away from Enbar. Furthermore, you will be a Baron one day. Your duties will prevent you from dedicating yourself solely to Her Majesty. Exactly. Unlike you, I have an entire territory's worth of people to protect. But I still won't give up. Even from afar. No. Precisely because I'll be afar, there will be things I can do to protect Her Majesty. In fact, always being at her side might actually cause you to overlook threats from time to time. I may even serve Her Majesty in a way you never could. <laughs> that is a promising thought, Monica. the Emperor out on an excursion. Let's be off. rarely go riding, but find it to be quite liberating. The sun is so warm on my skin. I see why people pine for it so. 
How nice. My dream is to sit about and simply do nothing. Sadly, there's so much demanded of me, it will likely remain a dream until my final days. If you would. What are you thinking about? You look as if your mind is a dozen leagues away. Right. Back to work, then. You and I both have a mountain of things to do, after all. 